Okay, minimum possible value of x and y. So first of all, I want to make one positive and one negative, so they end up with a negative number for x, y. And, you know, it's going to be less than any positive number, of course. Um, now, if I have x minus y, okay, so what are some, let's just play around with some possible values of this. It could be 1 minus negative 11, in which case x, y is negative 11. 2 minus negative 10, in which case x, y is negative 20. 3 minus negative 9, in which case x, y is negative 27. What's the trend? Well, the magnitude of, as I make x and y more similar, the magnitude of x and y gets greater, and because one of them is negative, it make, makes it less. You know, this is related to that concept in geometry where you, where if you make it more square, make the sides more equal to each other, it maximizes the product, maximizes the area. In this case, one of them is negative, so it minimizes it. By the way, that that's that's kind of what's going on is make them more similar. So the best I'm going to be able to do is six minus negative six, in which case x y is negative thirty six. Making them more similar in magnitude maximizes the product, in this case minimizes the outcome because one of them is negative.